He's awesome. Uh. You happen to see him any time after this if we're not gone. Make sure that you give him the Baptist handshake. Do y'all know what that is? The Holy Ghost handshake. Y'all know what the Baptist handshake is? The Holy Ghost handshake. It takes a lot. And they're on tour and they came here. The cash flow. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you. Everybody put their hands together. Thank you, Caleb. Uh, is there a website uh, for Caleb? Mother. Mother. Is, is there a website for Caleb? Mother. Is there a website for Caleb? How can people follow him on? Actually, he does not have a website right now, but um, you can follow him on Facebook at Caleb, C-A-L-E-B, Serrano, S-E-R-R-A-N-O. And his, um, actually, his email address is uh, Caleb T. Serrano at yahoo.com. And you can also contact his father at 336-908-9089. Again, that number is 336-908-8890. Again, email address is Caleb, C-A-L-E-B-T, Serrano at yahoo.com. Three 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 six nine zero eight 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 nine zero. Spell your last name. And my and the last name is spelled Serrano S E R R A N O. And he's and he's also you can go to YouTube if you go to YouTube little big shots Caleb more than likely they'll pop up in the search bar. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, like my wife said, just follow them on Facebook. We don't we don't have a promotion team. We don't have any staff. We don't do any promoting or anything. We let God do what they have to do with them. You know, right now, right now we're not we're not seeking out any fame or fortune. We're seeking out God's infinite wisdom and what needs to be done with this child. So we, we just hope that, that y'all continue to pray for us because like like my wife said, we're not we're not we're not a traveling sideshow. This is real. This is real. Amen. Christ movement. This is, this is more than, than, than just the, the music and the industry. This is about Christ. And if we keep that first, and if any of us keep that first, then every, everything else will fall exactly where it needs to be. So I pray for you guys, and I hope that you guys continue to get, get through the things that you need to do. And Caleb is definitely a quartet. That's where he's at. So let's just remember that you know, a quartet gave Caleb the, the platform in which where he's at. The same. So it would be, we would be remiss if we would not say that and speak that. So keep doing what you're doing because there are children out there that are looking up to you and that you can support and that you can encourage and that you can continue to lead them in which way, in which way the music industry needs. So thank you. So this is why we're here talking. Let's talk through this. Let's get this on the right on the right track. You know, remember some of the first words we started with: support, integrity, investment. Everyone here is investing in the Caleb's of the world, not just self. When we're out there. Now, uh, Melvin and uh, Keith Wonder Boy will be coming down shortly. They uh, Tyrone pulled them off uh, just to to do uh, some media stuff for him but uh, they're on their way down, so we'll have our full panel, okay? So when, where we left off was uh, Harold was speaking, and what I just wanna be mindful of, there's a lot that's being said, so we're gonna break in. I'm gonna break in, so Harold said, yeah. oh, I saw you coming up, because he's speaking a lot of different things that we need to stop and say, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, okay? Oh, okay, so now I'm gonna pass the mic on to Tim, and so we're gonna just kind of recap. So there's some points that you came up. We're gonna go back to that, and uh, and then everybody else. Now we also want uh, Daryl to speak um, uh, in regards to what Malico or any record label, you know, would require as we're going forward. All right. My name is Tim Rogers. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I wasn't really prepared to like uh, sit on this panel, but since I'm in uh, quartet, I guess I'll share my view on uh, what it is that um, I feel like is um is 
drum and write with quartet. I love quartet. I don't really know that much about it as it relates to the history of it. Uh, Stan, I just showed up, right? I showed up. The Williams brother pulled me out the pulpit and gave me a platform, and I, you know, now I'm Tim Rogers. I'm Tim and Phyllis. Okay. Um, so um, let me say this. Um, I'm a realist too. That's why I really don't like to talk because I don't think I don't think we real. I don't think we really ready for the real talk. Real talk. I don't. I just don't think we ready for the real talk. Uh, uh, but to be real, like quartet, like it needs to be fixed from the top to the bottom. Um, that's why so many times the industry they they lure us. They lure us, sell us hope, mm -hmm. sell us dreams, but don't really give us the recipe. There you go. And um, and that's it's a reason for that. It is because you know instead of people telling us the truth about what we really don't have, because the truth of the matter is we behind. We're behind because um, most of our artists has not really been developed. And uh, the reason why the artist has not really been developed is because the people who sang before us, um, since they didn't manage well, they're still singing survival. Mm -hmm. So you can't afford a new face to come on the scene when you still hungry. But you're messing up the whole genre because you're not actually reaching back to get the next one that's going to take your place. Mm -hmm. You can't do that because you're still singing survival. So the young quartet really don't have a chance because we don't have, we don't have the support of the people whose shoulders we're standing on. So, yeah, so we don't, we don't get the proper development. So we, we, we institute all of these showcases and they're just that, showcases. We don't spend time developing nobody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't we don't spend time talking about what needs to be talked about. You know, like you know, we ain't ready for no TV. We we don't even know how to dress. <laughs> Come on here. Let's tell us the truth. I mean, we looking like you know, for real, for real. Like there's a lot of stuff we just don't. I mean, we're not ready ready for the big stage. You know, like Mr. Jackson, he know that. This dude just coming up here being nice to us. But they ain't really gonna tell us what's in their soul. Right, right. And what's in their soul, they ain't no half of us. You know, we, we walking around like pros. I mean, we walking around like we really, I mean, we I ain't got nothing but a song. And we're living in a day where it, you, you, you can have a good song, but if you ain't got a ministry, your song don't mean nothing. And, and then we come to like functions like this, trying to get in, and we start selling our birthrights. And we, we, we complain later. What's selling your birthright? Selling your birthright means you give up all of your possessions just to be seen. Come on, talk, sir. So we're talking about DMI registering your music. Why are you gonna register music? You giving it all away to the record company anyway. So you have no chance to make anything anyway. The truth of the matter is, and they if your if they hand ain't in your pocket, they don't want you. So you ain't got a chance. And right now, they not they not taking a piece of what you have. They want all of what you have. So you become a slave again yeah. to your own people right. that should be looking out and helping you. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Say it now. So in this life, in, in this day and time, you can't be thirsty like me. Uh -oh. All right now. So what you saying, Pastor Tim? Nobody. I'm, I'm like Jesus. I can't allow you to make me king because okay. if you make me king, you can unking me. Yeah. But if God opens the door, you might. Me, but dog on it, you gotta respect me. Yeah. Yeah. And, th and that's what we are. That's what we are. That's what we are. When, when people make you, yes, yes, yeah. When people make you, and that's what that's that's 
the, that's the world we're living in. People want to be responsible for your success. So my advice to the next young group that's coming up, don't be thirsty. Come on, man. When you come to the table, don't come hungry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't come broke. Come with money in your pocket. So you won't be enticed by a little chump change. Talk to me, somebody. While you on the road, while you on the road, you on the road halfway killing yourself, and other folk got mailbox ministries on you. And they ain't got to move, they're collecting checks on the recliner. But then, they'll live real knowledge. and sell us dreams. Have us coming to all of this stuff, paying our money, but really won't tell us the truth. And the truth is, Quartetters, we are walking dead. We're alive, but we're sleeping our head. And that's why they treat us the way they treat us. And in most cases, we deserve it. Because we're really not ready for what we're asking for. You ain't walking in the light. We're not ready. You're not ready for this. Like, like we we don't we don't practice to perfect our skill. We practice to see who's gonna kill the house. We're worried about killing a house. Who who busts and who got in? Come on, man. Like, and I refuse to play those chump games. Chump change, chump. They ain't going nowhere. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, man. We acting like pros. You ain't getting but five hundred dollars a show, and you acting like you in. No. Come on, man. You ain't even getting a deposit. Uh huh. We ain't ready for this. So now I think Quartellas need to have their own convention to talk about what's real. No saying. Yeah. 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 Quartet yeah. needs a revival. Yeah. 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 And it yeah, needs a voice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because we're being, we're being taken advantage of My Lord. by hungry gatekeepers. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And you can't trust a hungry man for a meal. Sure can't. I know that you can't. No way. You can't trust a hungry man for a meal. He's going to eat first. So me and you can't get to where we need to be because the people we're having to deal with, they're hungry. Yeah. It's every man for himself. That's all it is. Self-righteous. So. Self-righteous. I love Quartet. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I love on, Quartet. Pastor. Guess what? I ain't going nowhere. I, I'm not trying to be done with uh-uh. uh-uh. no. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got to sing the grandmama and, them and her grandkids. Yeah. Everybody don't like contemporary music. Some folk like church. Yeah. So now, do it the way you do it. I'm going to do it the way I do it. Right? And I'm, I ain't looking for no mainstream. I ain't looking to be no mainstream artist. I'm looking for a ripper. Uh, <laughs> man. I'm looking for a ripper. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on now. I'm looking for a ripper. I want to be planted not by a stream. I want to be planted by the ripper. So now, that means. That means. Yeah, I'm dope. That means when I don't, you know. When I can't get the attention that I need from the people who keep in the gate, I don't worry about that. I just do what it is that God has called me to do and let God open the door. Yeah. Matter of fact, if the door ain't open, it might not be the door you need to be in. True. Yeah. Hey, so now, as it relates to the disconnect in the hallway, you know, you're not, you're not, y'all not talking to. You gotta realize who y'all talking to. Y'all not talking to Uncle Bo now. Y'all talking to some young cats. And the reason why folk go out in the hallway is because folk know folk know baloney when they hear. <laughs> what you talking about, Pastor Tim? What are you what are you saying to help me? What? That's right, that's right. 
What are you saying to help me? What, what, what are you saying to help me? Are you talking at me or are you talking to me? Because this, like, this generation, they don't want it in the street. They don't even want it in the church no more. Young folk don't even go to church no more. They watch it on live. Everybody, like, like you gotta, we gotta find a way to connect to that to that living and lost generation yeah. who uh, who's it's inevitable they, it's we're next and even when 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 people don't like it like Lee William is going left I'm sorry Harvey will not be yeah he's going left Right. Just like Joe Legon, he went left. Went left. Will and Neil Johnson, they're going left. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, we're so sleep until we won't reach back and find our successors and become comfortable with our Davids. See, David, David didn't just want. David didn't just want to be king. He was doing something else on the backside of the desert. God wanted him to be king. Are y'all listening? That's what God wanted for David. And when the prophet came to his daddy's house, they showed everybody what David. His brothers had the look, but David had the anointing. Yeah. And that's what makes the difference. Yeah. And folk don't automatically pick anointed people. They try to look over them. Yeah. 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 David wasn't trying to take Saul's place. As a matter of fact, if it were not for David, Saul would have still been facing a giant. Yeah. It was the David that had the cause to face what Saul did not face. And then he turned around. And this is our problem. Here you go. It's in the scripture. He turn around and get mad at the giant killer. And we only get mad because the women are singing a new song. Matter of fact, they added a verse to the song they wrote for you. Saul has killed his thousands. But they added another verse that said, but David has killed tens of thousands. Are y'all listening to what I'm saying? And people get mad because your name is in the song now. We'll talk about what's wrong with Quartet. You get upset when folk names are added. Because you think you're going to be it for the rest of your life. I didn't come to talk about this. So now, my, my suggestion is, I think all of us in here, if we love Quartet, we need to do something real. That's right. Come together to get a showcase. That's it. Let's have a revival. Let's talk about what's real. Don't come with your feelings on your shoulder. Learn how to take constructive criticism. If it ain't right, it just ain't right. Go back in the shed and perfect it. Come on now. Yes, sir. So now, I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for the record, I love Quartet. <laughs>